All right. Round begins in. We're gonna start off on Davis POV. One. Fight. He's rocking the visor. Chooses to not use his sight right off the bat. It's gonna go off of uh, instinct and feel. Pops his sight now. And that heavy was super delayed. He does a little bit of chip damage out onto it. Yeah, and he's trying to just get the weapons that he needs. Um, now he just needs a rocket. That's all. That's the last item that he needs. And you're right. I mean, the heavy really, really delayed. Let's see if uh, who goes for it. Oh yeah, Davis is gonna punish. Oh, this is the rail punish. There we go. Hits it. Finally, which is holding on the trigger. Now he knows the heavy's up, picks that up, and uh, gonna be a decent slip, split between the items here. Yep. Davis right now, his sight, it's not back up yet. He's got about 10 seconds. He will get this mega. And just enough time to come over and bully for this heavy, which he tries to do. Rubin is right there with a lightning gun. Rocket's coming down. Rails come out. Rail on a rail right now. Who's going to be the first one to connect? Rubin does. Sid Davis finally uses his sight and uses it to connect a nice rail and gets the first frag of the game, Hoss. And he's clearing the totems that uh, Rubin's putting up as well. He would have heard the audio cue for that one as well. Oh, Rubin narrowly almost goes down after Davis hits that rail, but he knocks him into the mega health, which gave him uh, 100 health, so he survived. But uh, now he's got him trapped, comes up the jump pad, and uh, Davis doesn't want to do anything with that. Oh, knows he's trapped again. Yeah, comes through the teleporter, hits a nice rail off that, uh, and now pops his sight, so he knows where he's at. Oh, Ooh! nice rail. Textbook sight right there. Popped his sight and used it for a nice fadeaway jumper, hit the heel of Rubin, and got his second frag on the board. The only thing is, now he's not going to have sight for another 30 seconds or so, unless he gets some more vials. But he's fine to just post up here and absorb these items and start killing clock. Oh. Runs out of rockets, but doesn't matter because he's got a rail and hits that. And his aim is looking really, really strong right now. Yes, As he delayed the heavy even more now. So he's gonna... Oh, Rubin wants to push in and try and grab it. Gonna hit some decent LG, but not gonna be enough. Oh, As, and uh, the, Davis hits him. the typing comes out, the frustration, because Davis was about to go down. And he somehow pulled off some amazing rails. That time Rubin knew he was low. Pulled out his nail gun. And he's on the board now, Haas. 4-1. 4-1, a little battle at the recovery room as Davis hits his rockets. Going to be a really, really strong rockets from Davis. As, uh... Now he's gonna have... Oh, wow, he's not going for the Mega. He's gonna try and do the punish on it, if he possibly can. And, yeah, he's re he's waiting. No, Oh, now he pops the sight. And Ooh. hits that same rail that got him the first frag of the game. And, uh, ooh, but look at that, there's totems in the area. Oh, Rubin from above hits two good rockets and uh, closes the gap down to three. Yeah, good rockets raining down onto that heavy. He needs some armor of his own now. One more totem and he will have triple. And there it is. He's got the overstack. If there's a light here, nope. He needs to try to get a light, though. I wouldn't even push this if I were him. Ooh. That's an unfortunate rail, and Davis has been hitting those rails all game long. And that time his totems got cleared out, so Rubin in a little bit of trouble right now. Still doesn't have any light armors, and that's just experience of Davis right there. As soon as he gets frags, he's denying light armors and just constricting the map like a snake. Yes, and I noticed that his totem, all of his totems weren't destroyed. He still has that. He has, he has three up, so that means he can use that overstack if he needs it. 
-hmm. But uh, he's got to get another totem. Let's see if Davis will clear him out. Yeah, he's there. He goes. He's going down. Surely he'll delete him. Yep, there you go. And uh, Rubin is waiting uh, cautiously at the middle. Morning. This mega is up. Rubin looks like he was doing a little bait play there. He knows where Davis is now, and Davis is pushing in. He's got a lightning gun. He ate a face full of rockets. They're both going to disengage, but not before Rubin hits a good little rail. Davis super weak right now. Needs to restack. He's even going to let this heavy go, I think. Yes, he does. And Rubin's got a stack advantage right now. And this next battle could go his way. But Rubin's got such a big stack. Like you were saying, and um, Davis just kind of stands still, you know? He doesn't want to give up too much. And uh, I think that's his goal. He's got the piercing sight. Um, when he needs it, just gotta collect the, the vials to, to pick it up, which he does. And now yep. Robin putting some totems down to uh, to try and get that the triple totems going again. And another rotation of items went to Robin. Now the LGs are out, and he has the stack advantage. Davis hits a good exit rail, but I think Robin smells blood in the water. Oh no, he's got to disengage. I don't know why he's sticking around for this. He's only got 25 HP, and that'll give Davis. The heavy pretty much uncontested after he hit that last rail and he's in a position to get a frag right here with his LG it's out it's blazing and yes Davis secures one more frag with that LG Haas that was a close one too he only had like two HP or something and uh, really really close and he's got the sight back up if he needs it as well so looking really good for Davis now as he, he can, he can honestly start trying to uh, to kill the clock a bit. So uh, that's that's what the direction that he wants to take this in, and uh, he knows right where he's at because he uses the piercing sight, and um, yeah, maintaining full control of the map so far. It's it's been uh, it's been Davis's game. Yep, it's been Davis's game, and as soon as this sight comes back, he can kind of use it just to gauge. It's a good rail at Mega, but look at the damage Rubin just did with that retaliation rail in his LG. Good predictive rocket by Davis. But Rubin right now, he is in a position to get a frag on the board. Oh, look at this. Quietly comes in. He hears him. Hits a good rail. Davis, 29 HP. That's it. Oh my god. Davis, you're scaring me. Making it super close. I mean, when you hit rails like that, it's 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 tough. And oh wow, some nice good rockets come in, but uh, Davis quickly goes back up the jump pad. Doesn't want anything to do with that, and it's got his sight up. See, we see when he pops it. Doesn't want to pop it yet because he knows where he's at for the jump pad. Really, just killing this clock here, playing it kind of a classic uh, dual style here. Just uh, not pushing, doing any pushes. Look at this. Lee. Gonna get a nice predictive rocket. Ooh, instead hits the rail. Really good rail. And now this battle. Oh, and a yes. direct rocket for Davis. Gives him the frag. Nice rockets by Davis. Yes, he got caught right there, right off spawn, but he's quick enough to get out of there. It's some semblance of a stack. He's got starting stack right now. And he's only got 60 seconds to burn. It shouldn't be too hard. Rubin's got an LG, and he just picked up a heavy, but if he's going to push, it's got to be now, and he can't let off the gas. Oh, that failed rocket jump. Here's his that... chance. He's caught him. Oh, but he doesn't, he doesn't engage. I don't think he knows how low he has Davis here. I think he thought he was going to go somewhere else. Like, he was baiting the chase. Davis has been in this situation many, many times. He knew it was coming and just... See that? Yeah. 
Rubbin will get a nice LG frag in the last final seconds of the game. But the GG comes out and this one's over. You lose. Yeah, nice nice clockwork by. Yes, many close calls. Really good clockwork by Davis at the end there. He killed like a minute 45, not uh, engaging at all. Smart play. All right, scores have been updated, and we are getting ready for map two here. Davis wins this. He wins the whole tournament. If Rubin gets this map, we go into a map three. And we've got a, a Nyx versus a Strog and Peeker. We used to see a Nyx on Awoken all the time. And... We don't see it as much anymore, but I think it's a pretty strong champ if you know how to play it, and Davis definitely knows how to play this champ. He showed us he can play defensive and not make any noise when it comes down to it. Yeah, he killed so much time with the, with the clock at the end of, of last game, so... Prepare to fight. Round begins in three, two, one. Fight. Starting off on Davis right now. Went right for the mega. Got himself a rail. He's looking to brawl early. Hits a nice rail right off the start. Impressive. Two rails in a row, then hits the ghost walk. Is he going to charge over and try to push this? Yes. Look at that. Right at the mega. Rockets come out into wow. rail combo. And just like that, Davis has a full stack, full control. Impressive. And he's got the first frag on the board. Make that two frags on the board. 45 seconds in, Haas. Another conversion frag off the spawn. That's two in a row. Really, really strong opening here. Is he going to get a third one? I think he might as he's got uh, Rubin cornered. Oh, the Rubin hitting the three good rails, two good rails. And it's not going to be enough. Davis, four conversion, or three conversion frags within a matter of about 40 seconds there. And just like that, rolls over the Mega. Hits his ghost walk for defense. And then gets the heavy without taking any damage. And then hits another two rails. Good lord, he's on a killing spree. Five to zero, a minute and a half in. What is going on? I think he's just getting caught off the spawn a little bit too much this time. Gets rocketed up really high. And uh, Robin is not. Oh, wow. Davis just isn't missing any rails as he hits a couple flick shots. 7 0. We're not even two minutes in yet. This is the quickest start to Awoken that I've seen in a while. Yeah, and some typing came out from Rubin. I think he's frustrated. Oh, look at these rails. And while Rubin is getting frustrated, Davis is just getting more and more confident in his aim, in his rails, in his lightning gun. And he's just running this map right now like a high school bully. Stop walking. Yeah. Who uh who beat Davis last last time? Was it uh I think Chance. An Australian? 
Oh, you might be right. It might have been like SH rules or Silaru. Because Davis is just playing out of his mind right now. I'm surprised to. Uh... You know, this is the first time I've uh, really watched Roxton play. And uh, honestly, he's playing out of his mind. He's just hitting the crazy rails. Uh, insane plays so far. Yeah, D Davis is a pro-level player in my opinion. Look at these rockets. Boom, boom, and boom. Beautiful rocket work. And that's how to play this champion. I thought he was going to be at a disadvantage, to tell you the truth. But he's just hitting everything. Well. Uh-oh. Is this it? Nope. Didn't give up yet. I hope not. I mean, if you can get 10 kills in 3.5 minutes, you can get 10 kills in 6 minutes. Control right now. LG from Rubin is good. E defensive rail from Davis shuts that push down though. Let's see what happens here. Ghostwalk comes out before a frag can be converted by Rubin. And he's got a restack as well. Oh lord. Davis looking really strong. Oh, nice predictive rocket. Nearly hits another one. He can kind of just sit around in the uh, the middle of the map and uh, not have to worry about what's happening. Really just can come back and time these items just like that. Hmm. And uh, rotate the items as he needs to. Which is what he's doing right now. Just three, four seconds left for this heavy. And these major items are going uncontested. Got another one. And even though Davis is on the light champ, he's got the better stack. Look at that. He hasn't been under 120 armor or hit points for the last two minutes. Wow. Wow, Jeez. nice. You can be sure By Davis, two it. in a row. Two out. Uh, Absolutely demolish the stack of rub in there and just like that can rotate the item and gets fully stacked back up as needed Rocket play right here now it's LG on LG Rubin moves through the banana tries to get out of there Davis was waiting, executes a beautiful rail, and hits another rail right off spawn. Make that two in a row, Haas. Peeker comes out. That'll get destroyed. If he hits this rail, Rubin goes down. Oh, narrowly misses it. Using that ghost walk pretty effectively as well. He's been using it when he's getting LG'd hard and he can just pops it and be able to escape as needed. And uh, yeah, able to, has every weapon that he needs, just nothing going. Oh, this time he kills himself. Rocket to the face, but uh, that won't uh, result in a frag for Rubin yet. Now I'm gonna move over and see what Rubin's doing though. He does get himself a Mega. Even though that was a, a suicide, we'll see if it was enough to give Rubin a foothold to at least chain a couple frags together here. Whoa, nice direct rocket on the opening for Davis at the connector here. And, uh, oh yeah, there you go from Davis again using the ghost walk to just get away from there. That's that's really, really strong use of the ghost walk. He's not using that offensively, he's using it defensively when he needs to get out of a tough situation and uh, it's working out really nice for him. Yeah, and I think the Rubin style is just not working today. It's kind of in your face. 
And there Whoa. it is again, Davis with the LG. Wow. And Davis is just chewing him up with a railgun before he can get any uh, any real damage done. Yeah, he really is. Robin never has the, the weapons that he needs either. It's just with when you're... When Davis is hitting rails like this and uh, has full control of the map like he does, it's tough to just even get anything off of him. The try bolt right there by Rubin, but two minutes left. He's really got to just pin those ears back, get his favorite weapon. And hope that Davis doesn't hit every single rail just like that. Oh, Davis got greedy with the gauntlet. And that means Rubin is now finally out of the zeros on the board. Minute and a half left, Hoss. I think it's the first frag. And. It was a good one too. Right at the the rocket area that was, and yeah, Davis got a little bit greedy, but it's okay to razzle dazzle. Bullshit. Yeah, you're up by 14, and you want to do it for the fans. That's okay. Whoa! Rocket on rocket. rocket. You see that evasion there? Yes, that was beautiful. Perfect. Textbook Nyx. Good try ball right there. Oh, and Rubin hits one through the teleporter. Less than a minute left, so probably too little too late. But he hasn't let his foot off the gas, and that's what I like to see. Might get a conversion. He might get a conversion. He does. Props to Rubin for sticking in here. Another. Another. One. Oh, spawn. Now he's got Nyx up uh, on the back foot because she doesn't spawn with any armor. And this is what he needed to do at the one minute mark, not the nine minute mark. Because now it's looking like he can control this map and he can control Davis. And there's the buzzer. Congrats to both of you and Davis.